everyone. It's been a while uh, since we've had a coffee talk. I, uh, I, I want to be really natural about things. And if I don't really have anything to talk about, then I don't want to just come up with something, you know, just to have a video. Um, but this is something that's been on my mind for a little bit, but I just haven't quite figured out how to word it. Um, so before, well, before we get into it, I do have a new coffee today. It's by Skinny Girl. Um, it's their breakfast blend. So pretty easy <laughs> coffee try. Breakfast blends usually aren't terrible. So I just put a little, uh, <laughs> I'm easily distracted by my cat. Uh, I just put a little, uh, half and half in here. Well, other than being piping hot, um, yeah, that's pretty good. It kind of reminds me of, like, a diner coffee. So, kudos to Skinny Girl. Set that on the table so I don't spill it. Um, so, there's a lot of, uh, oh my goodness, this cat. I'm, there's a lot of, well, negativity um for a, from a lot of different things uh and this year you know <laughs> i keep seeing a lot of posts about you know counting down till this year's over you know can't wait hey or we made it you know we're on stage 10 of jumanji <laughs> you know um a bunch of different stuff some of it makes me laugh and some of it's like yeah i know how you're feeling um but <clears throat> there has been some good that has come out of this year, um, if you look for it and you think outside the box. But I know in my heart that next year is definitely going to be a better year. And not for what you may or may not be thinking. Um, it has nothing to do with who may or may not be voted into office. It has nothing to do with um, whether or not this pandemic goes away or doesn't go away. Um, you know, it's all about mentality and um, perspective. That's the word. <laughs> I mean, mentality goes along with it. But I know, I know... 2021 is definitely going to be a way better the year because I feel I'm talking to everybody in this post, but I'm, I'm honing in on the Christians and believers in this post, but you know, this might speak to you too. I feel that we are going to wake up with new eyes, new hearts, because For a lot of different reasons, we have good things to hope for. Um, but I just feel like next year we are all as Christians, and even as non-believers, but as the church body, we are all going to have a better mindset. Because this year, it really has been a lot of focusing on what we're worrying about, what we're afraid of, what we're irritated by, what we're stressing about, but, you know, it does not matter who gets voted into office. It does not matter whether or not this pandemic goes away. What I'm talking about is appreciating the life that we have, the time that we have, and doing what we need to with whatever time we're given. And... I just feel like the church as a whole is going to have a better outlook on things tomorrow. Or, or not tomorrow, but next year. Um, I really feel like next year, it's just going to, I don't know when, you know, it's not a, prof don't think it's a prophetic thing. It's just a really strong feeling I have. Maybe it is. I don't know. But, um... 
I'm really cautious with prophecy uh, because I have been false prophesied to a couple times and um, it really confused me and messed with me. So I am very uh, hesitant uh, to receive it, but I, be I believe in it. I still believe that it's, it's possible and it is real. Um, but here's the thing. Whether the person you don't want to be in office gets into office, whether this pandemic stop pandemic stops or continues, whether we still have to wear masks for the rest of our lives or don't have to wear masks for the rest of our lives, if we have a better mindset, we can handle anything. You know, it. several months ago, I was one of those people, I'm not wearing a mask in the grocery store. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. And I've just gotten to the point um, where I, and I do wear, I don't wear masks if I'm out in a public park or, you know, outdoors. But if I'm going inside um, a grocery store to, to get or a shopping store or something like that or even a restaurant I will wear my mask and because it is a lot it's a lot easier to just do it to calm others down it, it's more important that other people are not upset at my decision than it is for me to put my foot down and no, I mean, I hate wearing a mask. <laughs> that is never going to change. I'm claustrophobic. I don't like things against my face, but I've gotten to a point where, you know, socially mature, whatever you want to call it, I don't know, or just, uh, not as stubborn, I guess, but I'm not afraid. I'm still not afraid. I still think this is Way, being blown way out of proportion. But you want me to wear a mask till I sit down at my table. You want me to wear a mask while I'm shopping because it makes other people feel comfortable. I'll do it. I don't like it, but I'll do it. You know, it's just, it just kind of is what it is. But if we get to a point, like something drastically needs to happen in this country but, and where's it going to start at? You know, where, wh who's going to start this movement? Um, where we stop pointing out what we don't like about each other and get to a point where we love everyone and we see that we are just as important as each other. And... You know, I know there's a lot of different movements and things happening these days. And, um, you know, it, but at some point, every single one of us, we really got to get over ourselves. We, we've got to get over, you know, it really doesn't matter. If you're a Democrat or a Republican, it really does not matter if you're black, white, Asian, you know, Native American. It doesn't matter. It, 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 it's a part of who you are. And that's important because that's how you were created. But beyond that, it, it's, it's not important because it, it, it's, what's important is how we treat each other. And, you know, that we, we just need to love on each other so much more. And, um, you know, it, I'm, I was concerned, um, a while ago about the election. Um, but at the end of the day, Jesus is still on the throne. He's going to be there no matter who gets elected into office and no matter who gets elected into office, God allows things to happen. 
And there's reasons behind that. And so I accept. I'm going to do my part and vote. <laughs> I'm going to get out there and vote. But I accept whoever it is that that is put into office, even if it was the person that I'm not planning on voting for. Because there's a plan there. There's got to be a reason for something. And, you know, we don't always get the answer to the question. But if, but the thing is, is that, you know, as days go by and more events thing, you know, things in the Bible are, are lining up, people. They're lining up. And um, as believers, I'm sure we can all see that, that things are, oh my goodness, everything that they said was going to happen slowly, but surely they're happening. And so you can sit here and be upset if the person that you didn't want to be in office ends up getting into office, or you can say, well, you know what, maybe we're just one step closer to our eternity, right? I mean, yes, it is scary that some of the things that are happening these days around, you know, around the world, across America, you know, all the hate, there is a lot of hate and a lot of evil in this country. And it it's, it's honestly coming from both sides. It's coming from all around the mulberry bush. <laughs> um, it, it, to me, I don't, I see it in both sides. You know, it, it, we shouldn't be pinning our political point of view against each other. You know, it shouldn't be like all all Democrats are this or all Republicans are this because that's not a fair statement on, for either side. Um, I know decent people on both sides. <laughs> I know really irritating people on both sides. So, um, but <sighs> we're going to go through some stuff. Okay, we still have a couple more steps to go. You know, we're going to go through some things that are really uncomfortable down here. But you know what? If we keep our eyes on our Father, where they're supposed to be, and we keep our hearts full of love and, and, that, and joy that he, only He can give us, and compassion for other people... Um, then we're going to be able to get stronger as a church and unify as a church and really come together and say, embrace the fact that we are in the last days and say, all right, God, take us home. It's in your timing. We're here. We're going to do our part to do the best we can with whatever time we have left. But... Lord, we're ready. We need to get to that part where we are coming together. Lord, take take us home, you know? We and you know, one day a bunch of us will not be here out of nowhere. We'll just vanish. And you know, we need to look forward to that day. <laughs> we need to not be scared about all the different things that may or may not happen along the way, you know, it's, uh, you know, probably going to get a little worse before it gets a little better. But, um, but even if you're not a Christian and you're watching this, um, which is really cool. Thank you for continuing to watch this, but, um, you can still change your mindset and your attitude towards things. You don't have to be a Christian to have a positive attitude. Um, you know, you, okay, this is how things are. What can I do to try and make the world a better place? What can I do to step up and say, all right, yeah, things kind of suck. <laughs> things kind of suck, but you know what? It could be worse. Uh, and, you know, I can let this change me for the worse, 
or I can step up, be better, act better, treat people better, and really spread a good loving vibe across across this, this world. And that's what I want us to focus on. And I think if we can get our heads wrapped around that idea, then 2021 is going to be a much better year. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Love you guys. Bye.